But hidden in your hand is a key to the forbidden land You've been here before but feel like starting again This is a rebirth, a regeneration, a throwback The tail of the lizard swallow when it grows back So slice your sword through the light, hold it to lock Cut to hold through the sky, the shadow of the Colossus Hey! Hey, what's going on everybody? Mal here. Sorry about that, got a little bit carried away because I was listening to a very good song and a very good pair of and a very good pair of Bluetooth speakers. Actually, uh, not a pair. Because these babies were what was actually playing. This is the Tribit Max Sound Plus. They were unveiled at CES this year and I'm super glad they made their way all the way to the studio because for the money they are unbeatable absolute king for bluetooth speakers under 200 bucks this year now before we jump into everything else this is sort of time sensitive so pause the video uh, not now let me finish why you need to pause it, then you do it uh, go down below in the description get one of the links and look for these guys because they are currently being sold for 47 bucks so yeah Pause the video now, go do that, and then come back, and we'll keep on chatting about them in the rest of the review. I'll wait for you guys, no worries. Go there and um, I'll be here. It would be really awkward if you guys were just, uh, you know, standing there, not really doing anything, just looking at me, waiting for you to, to do something that you're not doing. But you're not going to do that, right? Obviously not, because because we're we're all on the same team. All right, everybody back. Cool. Let's head back into it. Forty-seven bucks. Why am I so impressed with the Tribit Max Sound Plus? Basically, because look at it. It's like, yay big, it's really small and petite and beautiful and very well constructed. Seems a little bit rubberized or rubber feet so that they don't rock away on the table and just fall down to their deaths. It feels super solid. There's metal grill in front, big baseboard right in the back. It can connect through auxiliary 3.5 millimeters. It has a micro USB for charging. It lasts for 20 hours worth of playback and it charges in about like one and a half, two hours at most. IPX7 certified. You can even drop it in the pool and go grab it and take it out. It's fine, it's not gonna burst the flames, but they're really, really good. Like way back when, in the beginning of the channel, I did a comparison between three Bluetooth speakers. The one that stood out the most for me was the UE Mega Boom. These are better, or they at least jump out more than what the UE or any of those others did back when. Because for the price, they should not sound this good. But before we get into the actual samples, just hear me out. Those Nomos there, the Razer Nomos on my desk, I praised them to no end in my review. I think they are amazing stereo speakers with separation imaging. It's insane what they can do for a hundred bucks. Razer hit jackpot with those and I still recommend them like hundred percent. And these have almost replaced them. Not that I think that these necessarily sound better or they get louder or have more features. Well, they do have more features, but it's not that they're necessarily like objectively better than the Nomos. It's just that they sit right there. Like if they were like a sound bar or something. And I forget that they are the ones actually playing whatever I'm listening to. Because they connect automatically and I start listening to stuff. And then I realize, who it's them playing, not the Nomos. And I still have the Nomos plugged in. Uh, what for if I'm not using them, you know? Unless I actually do something or listen to something where I know there was supposed to be more stereo separation. Because it has a little tiny bit of stereo separation there coming from the tribe, but the actual drivers are not far enough apart to make that much of a difference. So yes, that's when I realize I'm not listening to the Nomos. But sometimes you really can't tell them apart. That said, the button you guys saw on the top of it, the X base, 
yeah, it shouldn't even be a button. It should it should just come on by default and you shouldn't be able to turn it off because without it, it lacks low end completely. The sound signature is actually really pleasant. It doesn't distort across all the frequencies you can test. Super low volume, super high volumes, doesn't matter. Mids and highs are like spot on, but there is no low end. But then when you turn on the X bass stuff, the back bass port starts kicking out lots of air and it just grabs you and punches you in the face. It goes from no bass to the correct amount of bass to complement everything else. It's not flat, it's a little bit bassier, but it's a Bluetooth speaker. You're probably gonna be using it to fill up a larger room so that extra little bit of bass is actually appreciated. Summon to heaven, platonic love becoming untethered. The way you comfort me when under the weather and how we cuddle together under your umbrella. You must think I'm such a dumb fella. Had it done better leave. probably not going to find anything below 100 bucks that's better or even close to equal to what this is capable of delivering. The best Bluetooth speaker I've ever heard from Tribit by a long margin, definitely the king up to this point, like 100% worth your money. Tribit struck like gold with this little guy. The Max Sound Plus is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, so leave any comments or suggestions down below as usual. If you feel like it, like, subscribe, comment, bell, and all that stuff. Thank you a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.